Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to, I don't know, I think it's been a couple of days. I think it's been a couple of weeks since um, I was here. And you know, I am a person who still like working into this whole content creation person, like, you know, you know, it's it's a roller coaster. At least that's how I have experienced it. Uh, and the reason why I want to call this video, you know, chats about life, relationships, and you know, self love and all of these different things is because these are the things that I think that I've dealt myself in the last couple of days and. You know, it's nothing bad, honestly. Like, I think I am very grateful for this past couple of days. I I know I didn't post, but I actually didn't post on purpose. And it was because sometimes in life, like, you know, sometimes you're going into a direction and sometimes you need to reaffirm or you need to have clarification or you need to have reassurance that what you're doing is the right thing or at least you need to feel that what you're doing is the right thing and then sometimes you might need to have that reassurance from people and so you know i finished my last video i think it was about london and actually after that weekend um i was being an mc during the um, manifest of miracles and you know during that weekend there was a lot of thoughts in my mind and and you know i'm always thinking <laughs> um but it made me realize that you know sometimes i don't know about you guys or where you guys are getting your guidance from but it's very important to have guidance in your life because this is how life should be all the time like when we are kids you know you have guidance from your parents when you went to college then you have guidance from your teachers and then after that when you go to university or whatever the case may be then you have that guidance but what happens after that right what happens if you don't have that guidance and and that's why i think it's very important to have some type of guidance that's been a coach a mentor into your life so I guess if you're taking notes from this video, one of the things that I would like to mention is having a guide, having a coach to help you along your journey. Because sometimes, I mean, life can be very funny and, you know, sometimes you can get lost in the illusion of negative thoughts if you are into the law of attraction, right? And, and, and I wanted to speak about different realizations that I've had throughout the past couple of days. And I think the first realization that I've got is being happy and, and, and knowing how am I happy. And the perception of happiness has changed in my life in the last couple, three years. And, and why I say that is because I thought that for me to be happy, I needed to be in a happy relationship like i come from a background where you know my relationships were not the best and i thought that you know for me to be completely happy i needed to be um, in a relationship where i needed to just be happy and the other person needed me needed to make me happy right i needed them to be for me for myself to be happy and so that idea has slightly changed to hey I'm happy just because I'm my life. I'm not happy because I'm doing a video. I am not happy that, you know, I am somewhere. I'm not happy because I am in an environment. That is not what happiness is about for me anymore anyway. And now you might be thinking, okay, Angela, what do you mean by that? Like, like, what do you mean you're not happy in your work or you're not happy with the relationship that you have? No, I'm not saying that. Of course, those things, adds on to my happiness but what is happiness itself where does your happiness come from because all of the different things boyfriend relationship girlfriend relationship work environment people out there things out there success these things are external things and so what happens if one of those things are not there into your life what happens if one day you wake up and hey I don't know, you don't have that special thing that you love, right? And I, and I hesitate to say these things because 
what we speak is what we speak comes into existence right and so what happens when you no longer have that thing that makes you happy how do you deal with life right and this can go very deep with like death for example and all of these different things but then if we take away all the external things all the material things then how do you actually become happy and so i've realized this in the past couple of days that I am not longer happy because I have a boyfriend or I have a job or my relationship with my parents have flourished. Yes, these things add into my plate, right? But it doesn't, it's not the core of my happiness. And so the question truly is what is it? that is happiness at the end of the day is because sometimes people talk about oh no angela is the journey that you go but okay yeah so you go ahead and you do your journey towards life but then like how you know like it doesn't really make sense to me if you really think about yeah life is about happiness is about the journey not the destination it's like it's neither or if you really think about like happy Ness is it's about the journey. It's it's about the moment. It's about you realizing that you are alive, that I am breathing, that I have a space, that you are grateful, that all of the different things comes about being happy. Like right now I am in my house, I'm by myself, I'm doing my thing. I don't need anything. If I wouldn't have my phone, if I wouldn't have my computer, I will be doing something else. Like just meditating, praying, coloring, one of the things that I love. So what is the thing that makes you truly happy? And it's not about doing a physical activity either. I'm talking about what is that peace that resides in you that makes you happy. That is true happiness. It's not about a destination. It's not about a journey because, I mean, we're in this lifetime, right? And that life and all of these different things, things will be adding into your journey. But being able to be happy, being able to be peaceful, being able just to... Being able just to enjoy life as it is. Not taking things out because sometimes people say, oh, when I have money, I will be very happy. Or when I have a big house, I will be very happy. Or when... No. Because if you say, oh, if I am going to be enjoying the journey until the destination, right? Happiness is not about the destination, but the hap then you are throughout the journey for you to get to money. If you're not happy, if you're going to be happy here, but you're not going to be happy through the journey, like what, where is the happiness going to be at, right? So I wanted to talk about this and this actually came happiness su subject. It comes out of my own flow and out of my own thoughts and, and feelings that I've had lately because that's what I've realized lately. I don't need to do things, right? I can just sit here and watch movies and enjoy myself and, you know, but me knowing that I'm deeply happy within my soul, that I have found myself, that I know who I am, that, you know, I know who Angela is and what makes her happy, like doing whatever the case might be, right? That is okay and that is life. Being able to find your happiness within you, being able to say, you know what, I'm happy, I'm grateful, I am, you know, alive. But taking out that factor from society, from the external world that, hey, if I don't have my coffee, and by the way, this is tea, if I don't have my tea or my coffee, I'm not happy for the day. What if I don't have this? What if the pandemic will take out the coffee? And now you might be thinking, oh my God, Angela, don't say such thing, right? But what is the things that you need to be able to take away that if you were not to have that? And I'm talking about people in your life. I'm talking about things in your life because yes, we create attachment to people as well. And that's why I say it could be going deeper into death and all of these different things. But if you were not to have all of those external things, how is it that you're happy at the end of the day? What fulfills your cup, right? What is it that recharges you? Because sometimes I, people say, oh yes, my why and my, my people, and, and the thing that I wake up every single day is my sons or my family, which is great. It should be like that. But what if they're not there? 
How do you fulfill yourself? How do you continue through this life journey? So life, relationships, all the external things out there, they are part of your happiness, but it's not the main source. And this has to do very, very heavily on your self-love journey. Because you see, you're going to spend most of your time by yourself 24 seven, and you need to deal with yourself. You need to deal with yourself that you need to deal with yourself. So how is it that you are going to love yourself? Have you loved yourself? Have you got to know your person, yourself? Because once you have that self love within you and you connect it to something higher and bigger, then I think that's the secret. I think you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you have learned something at all, type it below. It, I, I'm actually very intrigued this time. Very, very, very intrigued of what are your thoughts on happiness? Like, honestly, like, let's talk about on, like happiness. Like, what is happiness? Uh, happiness at the end of the day. Let me know your thoughts, your comments below. And let's see if I can do a little bit more deep subject on this happiness subject <laughs> okay guys guys thank you so much for your time i am very very excited to read your comments but if you have learned anything if you have enjoyed this video please make sure blah, 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 make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell sign next to it because this year i am dedicated to make weekly videos to hold you accountable to make the best version of yourself but for now guys i'll see you on the next videos and yes i'll be here more regularly and thank you so much for each one of you who continue being with me through this journey of self-development and manifestation and life in general other than that i'll see you on the next video namaste everybody